over here. All right, how's it going, man? Hey, how's it going? Good, good, good. How are you enjoying E3 so far? We're doing great, man. E3, E3 has been great. All right, well. There you go. Real gamers yes. give real high fives. Oh, yes. yes. Real gamers give real high fives. If you told me the high five, I'm caught in security. So, please, high five, there you go. What's up, everyone? Welcome to the last and final day of E3. Uh, lots going on. Going to be checking out some games. Bought myself some merch. Uh, really, a lot of it Assassin's Creed related stuff and Ubisoft related things. Checked out Soul Calibur. Got some other things to check out. Uh, Want to try to make it possible to see the Resident Evil stuff. And I want to basically just play as many games and record footage to get like short three to five minute burst interviews. Nothing like too special, just kind of like some gameplay footage. But yeah, that's what's going on. Nothing too, nothing like over the top. I've done all my shopping, not gonna do any more. At least I say that I'm not, but I'm really enjoying the experience so far. <laughs> I work on the Broader team, so oh, really? it's going on amongst thieves. These three guys want it all for themselves. Is this like the DLC for? Um, is this a DLC for For Honor, is, or is it a whole new game? It's a it's a it's an update for For Honor. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. yeah so we're bringing four new characters to the game, and it's all from a, a Chinese faction. They're called the Wulin. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. So there's a, a Shaolin monk. There's a, a royal guard called the Chandi. Oh, there's a monk there. Okay. The Chandi fights with a curved Chinese sword. Right. Um, there is uh, the Jiang Jun. He's a big. He's like a heavy character. He's like a big. That there is right there. The beard. Ah, oh, they changed it. Oh my big. Uh, and then the fourth is the Nusha. She okay. fights with like hook swords. Oh, nice. So, yeah, it's, I'm really excited about it. Yeah, that sounds oh, sick. Yeah, it's like a better version of Dynasty Warriors. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I'll take it. <laughs> Do you? Uh, Thank you so much. Thank you. What else do you find different about um, so when it comes down to For Honor and this version of it? No. What kind of things have been improved? From so apart from those characters I just told you about, yeah. there's a brand new game mode called Breach. Breach. So ever since the game has been out, people have wanted a castle siege mode, yeah. which we haven't had. Now we do. So nice. Breach is an asymmetrical attacker defender castle siege mode. So if you're the attackers, you're going through a castle like first gate. You got to break it down with your battering ram, or you can fight up on the walls with siege towers and stuff. And then uh, you're entering the castle and you're sort of pushing your way through progressively until you fight the lord of the castle to win. That is cool. It's that really is... fun. Yep. And then uh, anyone who, I've noticed that anyone right now for this week can pick up uh, the War Honor for free. Yes. Does that also include this as well? No, because this doesn't come out until oh, okay. uh, October 16th. All right. But when it's out, yes, it'll be part of that it, for sure. All right. And it will be free as well? Or yeah. Not... So you oh, can, wow. You can get the, the characters for in-game steel, yeah. so you don't have to you don't have to pay money for it. You earn the steel just by playing. Uh, the game mode is free as well, maps as well. I've never played For Honor. I've been meaning to check it out. Now uh, I have a reason to check it out. Now's your chance, and you just go. It's in UPlay, so you just go to UPlay, and it's up. It should be up at the top. You click it, and it just added to your library. All right, cool. sweet. Thank, Thank you, you very, very much. much. Thanks. Thanks. So the people here are checking out the new Skull and Bones game, which kind of reminds me a lot like Assassin's Creed for Black Flag. There's a lot of similarities to this, and they've taken a lot of inspiration, it seems. So this is Trials Rising. It's a new game in the series. Uh, I personally haven't really played these type of games much. Uh, I played one that was for the PS Vita, but other than that, looks kind of cool. So, pretty much finished with a quick match of Fortnite. I uh, got this thing right here. Funny thing is, I normally am absolute shit at the game, but for some odd reason, when there's a prize involved with 2,500 V-Bucks, I uh, tend to try and a little bit harder. Um, the funny thing about that is the team I was with, we, we picked a good spot to land and I was just pretty much following everyone. We got so freaking close, but we still lost. 
That's like, what, $25 worth of beat bucks now? Yeah, I had that one. I had to give it up, though. But that, I got the, uh, I got the Sony A5100 I love. Yeah. I got that in my backpack. So my camera I film with, A7S Mark II. Oh, wow. Yeah. Nice, What's nice. What's up, baby? How you doing? What's up, Kylie Muscle? How you doing, baby? Yo. You up here having fun? Yeah. Look, I... ooh, where you get this? Nigga, I need one. <laughs> where you get that from, nigga? Fortnite. <laughs> Oh, over here? Uh, yeah, no, at the other booth. You get oh, it at the... Uh, I gotta go to the Fortnite booth. You have to play Fortnite uh, down at the Fortnite booth. Where's that? That's on the West Hall. West, oh, we gotta yeah. go to West Hall, Fortnite. Yeah, and what's cool about it, if you West win the match, Fortnite. they'll give you 2,500 V-Bucks to use in the game. Is that right? Yeah. I got, it. I got like 10,000 just I, I don't. I don't <laughs> spend money on that. You don't? No, I oh, play I, for free. I got 70 skins. Yeah. Uh, how, do you like, how do you like E3? Oh, this is my first time here. Same here. So, PlayStation, because yeah. I'm Kali Muscle, they let me go play Spider-Man. Oh, yeah, of so course. So, that was cool. That's I awesome. got it on live stream and everything. Nice. Uh, Let's the uh, camera. What's up with it, baby? We up here. It's your boy, Smallest uh, <laughs> motherfucking gamer live. You know what I'm talking about, Kali Muscle. We so, we up here at E3 living it up, man, in L.A. You know what I mean? You already know how we do it. I had a friend who told me about you, like, years ago, and uh, then I was like, who is this guy? And I got a kick out of your channel. I thought it was oh, funny. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. I, you know, for years of not having fun. Yeah. And I got older. I'm like, man, I gotta live and have fun, make people you laugh. Have to. You know, and that's you have the key. To. What's up with it, baby? How you doing? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. All right. Well, I have an event to go to. I gotta get to the PSVR. Right. Nice, nice to meet, meet you, dude. You. you too. Yeah. I'm gonna be the uh, badass action star you always wanted to be. Sounds like fun. Yeah. It's a lot of fun. Right. You guys are gonna enjoy it, all right? All right cool. Yeah, thank you. Cool. We appreciate your patience again. Yeah, no problem. 15, 20 minute demos. Right. So Sweet. So, um, yes. when does this game come out? Oh, you can't say. That's fine. Yes. Uh, that's all good. You can't say. But Definitely. what type of game? What type of the game is it? Is it? Do you move around, or is it like one of those active? Act, huh? Active waypoint system. So you'll see these white chevrons. Yeah, yeah. That's him in his head strategically going, that's a good cover spot, that's a good place to go. If you okay. look at it, you hit the move button, you'll move towards it. But you're still in action. That's so cool. You're still being fired at and you're still firing. Nice. Because you know, it reminds me of like those old we arcade have, titles. We also have Ghost Giant. Huh, what is it? Ghost Giant. Ghost Giant. It's an interactive that? puzzler. Interactive puzzle. Will my spot stay here too? Yes. Yeah. Alright, cool. Yeah, sure. Let's give it a try. Let's play cool. Ghost Giant. It's a uh, story-driven interactive puzzle game. Yeah. So uh, what you're going to do okay. is you're following this little boy, Louie. Louie's kind of having a rough go at life. He doesn't have a lot of friends. He's very lonely. So he really needs a friend. You become that friend. You are the ghost giant. So you're his imaginary friend that only he can see. Uh, but you do have a lot of control over how the, you manipulate the world. So you're going to use the trigger mm -hmm. to poke and the move button to grab. Okay? okay. So poke, poke grab. grab. Are you familiar with PlayStation VR? Uh, a little bit. A little bit? Okay. A little bit. So I'm I've not played it. <laughs> Fair enough. So this is a great one to start with because it's not going to make you sick. <laughs> Just got finished playing this. Really cool. Pretty cool. The game is great. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Bye. Hey. Pretty awesome game. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like no, that was really that was really immersive. Oh, I'm glad. That's I'm glad you enjoyed it. Crazy. So, E3 is officially over now. Now they're pretty much doing a Just Dance concert, and they're gonna pass out the remaining stuff that they did not pass out during the show. If you guys got this far, thanks for watching all the vlogs. I'm gonna be ending it here pretty shortly.